If everyone's ready, we'll take questions for Casey Pryor and Terrence Edwards Jr. Jimmy, let me show my microphone. Let me show my brush, let me show my brush. Yeah, okay. There you go. Terrence, um, there was a moment there uh, really early when you guys got the uh, got the uh, shot clock violation when we shot at the three. Uh, the follow didn't go, and then um, and then uh, Coach Kelsey, you know, like during the break, uh, pulled you guys together. Uh, do you remember I mean, anything he said to you uh, in that moment as you guys were trailing five to four out of the year? Um, he just said, um, you know, we got to run our offense with intensity. You know, they came out in the zone unexpected. So um, they said, whatever they throw at us, we got to be ready to respond. And um, that's been the biggest thing from the last game to this game, just being ready to res um, respond to everything that they throw at us. And then, uh, I guess, that's either, that's either on either of you, just kind of like take us through, you know, the last 10 days of, you know, uh, trying to get that loss of Tennessee out of your system. And then also, you know, you know, Pat talked about how you guys kind of went back into the preseason mode. Um, how do you feel like the team grew over you know, you know, this 10-day layoff? Um, I think everybody's hungry. Um, when you get hit in, hit in your mouth in front of 20,000 at your own house, it, it forces you to want to go to go, go back to practice and try to fix everything that you did wrong. And um, we got a really experienced team. And um, we all came together as players without the coaches and said it's never going to happen again. And, um, we'll be ready for any challenge going forward that come our way, um, win, lose, or draw. But, um, we won't never get out tough, um, out rebounded like that again. Um, so yeah, that's what we did the last eight days, is just get our identity back. Terrence, uh, this seemed more like the kind of game that you had um, with James Madison. Um, what was working for you tonight? And you know, was there anything in particular that maybe Bellerman did or didn't do to uh, help you get in the group? Um, I just I had eight days to think over how I played against Tennessee, um, and I'm a very confident player, and um, I just got to get back to that, um, believe in myself, bet on myself, like I always do in my whole career, and um, it it got me here, um, so I just got to depend on that and um, try to play my game within the team and, and the system um, moving forward, and that's the type of shots I take, step back, whatever, um, that's the type of shots I take, and I've been taking them for four years, so um, yeah, just going into every game with the utmost confidence from here on out and um, trying to get better as a team. Okay, P, when you were at South Florida, I think it was the first six games you did to start, then you ended up <coughs> starting on for the majority of the season. Is that, first and foremost, is that even important to you here? And do you kind of feel like it might be a similar approach to kind of bide your time, earn your way into the start? Yeah, um, I think, you know, for me, I just focus on, you know, being the best that I can be for my team. Uh, this is my fifth year of, of school, of college, so I've had a lot of ups and downs of not playing, you know, not, um, you know, worrying about starting, you know, am I going to start, you know, early in my career. And, you know, for me, it doesn't it doesn't really matter anymore, you know. At the next level, NBA scouts, that doesn't matter. Always he's starting, he's coming off the bench, you know. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as I come out there and be the best me, uh, you know, be the best team that I can be, you know, I think that's going to translate and help us, you know, uh, as a whole. Um, you know, at South Florida, yeah, I was thinking that earlier on the bench. I'm like, man, you know, those first five games, I didn't I didn't start. Um, you know, it was, it was finding my rhythm, kind of in the lineup, what can I do for the team to, to make us the best. And, you know, I think it's the same approach here. You know, I'm just playing my playing my role. You know, I'm not, I, you know, I can't worry about, you know, who's starting, who's playing that, you know. All I can control is what I can control, and that's me. Uh, so, you know, uh, I trust my coaches. I, you know, I came here because I trust PK and, you know, the rest of the staff in my career. So, for me, it's just worrying about how I can be the best, you know, player and teammate for, for our team and everything else will handle itself. Anything else, please, Chip? Thank you. <coughs> you guys were down two players tonight. Did you all have a lot of time, you know, to, I guess, prep uh, for those absences? Like, was that something that happened, you know, really early up into the layoff or, you know, those two guys that go down you know, pretty recently, uh, you know, a day or two of heading into the game. Yeah, I would just say, uh, you know, it's next man up. You know, it was you know, definitely unexpected that we took two tough losses from guys who played heavy minutes for us and can really help our team win. Um, we know it's basketball at the end of the year. Every year somebody gets injured on the team, you know, somebody goes down, somebody has to step up. Um, so we had, you know, a little bit of preparation without them to, to understand, you know, how we were going to play without them, you know, with their absence. Um, but for us, it's just next man up. PK stresses that, you know, somebody's got to step up now. And, you know, uh, prayers to those guys to get healthy and, you know, hopefully they'll be back soon enough. This is for 
both of you. Um, how do you approach rebounding given that, you know, the, the backcourt compared to other ACC teams and, and whatnot is probably smaller than most of those teams are going to face when we get deeper in the season? Yeah, I would just say, man, we just stick to our identity. Um, we really pride ourselves on being a really good rebound team, offensive rebounding team. So, I mean, just doing our job consistently, you know, um, I think that's going to lead to just, you know, also our being our, you know, having our toughness, you know, finding different ways, being scrappy, uh, you know, position. There's a lot of different things that go into it and, you know, help us rebounding. Uh, you know, obviously we will play bigger teams in ACC. Tennessee showed us, you know, they were a bigger team. They were able to out-rebound us. Um, so for us, it's just, you know, finding the film and sticking to our identity of, Consistently crashing the glass and, and being tough. So, thank you. Appreciate you guys. Staying with the Halloween.